Tim's initial momentum because it has no momentum. Remember, momentum is a measure of moving objects, and if Tim's not moving, he doesn't have momentum. And then for M3, we have 1300 plus 1200 because the two cars lock. So Tim was sitting there, Christina's on her phone Snapchatting, she didn't see Tim at the, y'all look up when I say Snapchat, is it? <laughs> now you're listening to me. Okay, she's on the phone, she hits the back of his car, they lock together, now they're moving together at some speed. And we're trying to figure out what that some speed V3 is. Cool. So we're done with physics, right? And now we do the math. So let's multiply these two numbers together. We get 7,280 kilograms times meters per second. This was zero. And then on this side, we get 1,500 kilograms times that velocity that we're looking for. And now we just rearrange for V3. So I like to do my variables on the left side. So I'll divide 7,280 by 1,500. Right, this is kilograms times meters per second, and this is kilograms. So you'll see our kilograms cancel out, and we're left with meters per second. And we get a speed of... What, there's a question? I don't know why this is loud. What's the question? Oh, 2,500, thank you. Thank you. Okay, and that equals 2.9 meters per second. And it, which direction will it be in, left or right? So I wasn't good and I forgot to define my direction at first, but because I said 5.6 was positive, that means I defined left as positive since our answer was positive. And the answer is left. Okay? So that's how you approach a conservation of momentum question. And this will be the simplest case, and they're going to get way more complicated because we're going to be working in two dimensions. But let's do a bunch more examples until you guys get comfortable with it. So this is an example where they're now going head to head. So Christine's car, which is still 1,300 kilograms, is moving at a constant velocity of 5.6 meters per second west. Tim's car, which is still 1,200 kilograms, is moving at an unknown constant speed towards Christine. Okay, so the picture explains it pretty well. We have Christine moving west, Tim moving at some speed to the east. If their bumpers lock together after the collision, and they have a combined velocity of 2.4 meters per second to the east, how fast will tip, was Tim traveling before the collision? So this is why momentum is such a powerful uh, physical identity, right? It's because we can learn so much about this collision through momentum. We can learn about the initial velocity of Tim just looking at the momentum of the two cars, using the idea of conservation of momentum. So let's see how fast Tim was going. Because Tim is lighter than Christine, but for some reason after the collision, they were moving in the direction that Tim was coming in. So Tim must have been going faster. And that's a good way to know if you got the right answer or not, right? You can kind of gauge, oh, my speed for Tim is less than my speed for Christine, but the question tells me that they're moving this way afterwards. So let's work through and see. I'll be better this time and I'll define um, let's define it as the question does there. We'll define right as positive. Or I guess that's to the east. Okay, and we're going to start this question, like we're going to start all our conservation of momentum questions. We're going to say the sum of the momentum initially is equal to the sum of the momentum Finally. Right? This is the idea of conservation of momentum. And then the same way we did for conservation of energy, you filled in your energies initial and final, I'm going to fill in my momentums initial and final. So I have 
an initial momentum V1, M1, V1 plus M2, V2, and I have a final momentum M3, V3. Okay, let's fill in our masses and our velocities. So technically these are velocities, so they should all have a vector, they all have a direction, right? So when I plug in, I should include my speed. I should, sorry, I should include my sign. So I have 1300 kilograms. Is this gonna be a positive or negative 5.6? It's gonna be negative, thank you. Right, because she's moving west. So it does look like energies because we have conservation of energy, but it feels more like kinematics because we include the signs with our speeds. I know that sucks, but the more you do these questions, the more you'll remember. I include the speeds, the signs with kinematics, I include them with momentum. That's not something you need to memorize if you do it enough because you'll understand the only time we don't include the signs is with forces. With forces, with dynamics, and that's because we include the sign outside of the variable. So in this case, don't forget to include that sign because most cases when you get the question wrong in momentum, it's because you forgot the sign and the speeds. And it gets really messy in the quiz room when you have a two-dimensional collision and your signs are everywhere. It's really hard for the TA to see where you went wrong. So make sure you define your direction as positive, whichever it may be, but you stay consistent with those speeds as you go through the question. So that means for Tim's car, uh, which is 1,200 kilograms, it's going to be positive. Oh, we don't know what it is. We're going to assume, we're hoping that it's going to be positive. Our answer should be positive because by the way that the diagram shows us, he's moving in the positive direction, but we don't know what that is at this point. So we're going to solve for that V2. And then on this side, we have the combined 20... 500 kilograms and a positive speed of 2.4 because the final speed is 2.4 east and we defined east as positive. So now we're done the physics and we just work through the math. 1300 times minus 5.6 is minus 7280. Don't forget that minus when you work that through. Plus 1200 V2 equals 2500 times 2.4, which is 6,000. And we're solving for V2. Sorry, I just switched to an HDMI cable, which has the sound included, so you're hearing like all that buzzing on the computer. And the music I was listening to before I came in. <laughs> which I wasn't. It was, it was worse. Um, yesterday I was at this meeting, and I was listening to Hans Zimmer, like Pirates of the Caribbean, and really cool stuff. But the playlist kept on going through, um, through soundtracks, movie soundtracks, and when I plugged in the HDMI for my presentation, it was on Celine Dion's My Heart Will Go On. <laughs> and like I had, there was nothing I could do to get that respect back. <laughs> that was brutal. <laughs> okay, but I swear I wasn't listening to it. Not that it matters, but it's 2017. I can listen to it whenever I want to listen to it. Okay, I digress. Um, 6,000, we're rearranging for V2 here, 7,280, and so I have my 1,200 equals, let's just rearrange it off the bat, I have my V2 equals my 6,000 plus my 7,280 over 1,200, and that's equal to 11 meters per second, and because it's positive, we know it's to the east. So this answer makes sense. It's nice to step back and look at your answer before you hand in your quiz and be like, okay, it's a, because his mass was less, but his speed was greater, it makes sense that in the end, the collision continued to the east, right? Tim's car has had more momentum, even though it had less mass, his overall momentum was more, so the collision continued in his direction. Is that cool? Yeah? Okay. Let me see if I believe you, and we'll do another multiple choice question. What? That wasn't savage. Okay. Yeah, let's do it. So, I'm going to hide that answer. 
don't get thrown off by the fact that there's no numbers in this question. It's the same as all the other questions, except you just don't plug numbers in. You just rearrange the variables. So the fact that the answer is in V shouldn't throw you off. I'll give you guys just a minute to do that. Okay. Oh, that's what I was going to do. I was going to change this to there. Oh, no. Okay, so a shopping cart moving north with a speed V collides with an identical stationary shopping cart. The two stick together after the collision. What is their velocity after the collide? So it's, it's pretty much the question I just did, but with no numbers. So set it up with your initial momentum and your final momentum, right? So you have your initial momentum when the car's not moving and the other car is. So the initial momentum, you're going to have an MV for one of them, not the other. And then they, they, they stick together after. So because they stick together, make sure you add those masses. And your mass is just going to be M, right? But you can still handle it the same way. Let's take it up because I 